All I needed was berries, kale, and granola. $80 later, who can relate? Hi. So I just got home from the gym, what else is new? And I stopped by Sprouts to get kale, granola, and a few other things. And of course, left spending 80 bucks. But anyways, that's besides the point. I wanted to show you guys some of my favorite low carb snacks because pretty much that's why I went to Sprouts to, was to replenish my snacky poos. So I thought, why not make a video about my favorite snacks that are low carb, what I'm loving right now. So I've spread everything out here to show ya. Um, let me just start by this. So this is my chia pudding. I think I've talked about it before. I'm just gonna start with it first because um, I have to put it back in the fridge. I made it for breakfast. Well, I have it for breakfast every morning before my workout. So I just put two tablespoons of chia mixed with chocolate protein powder and maybe sprinkle some berries on top, but it's a great way to get protein, your good fats, and it's only like 200 calories. Um, so this is a great snack or a meal and it looks like a big bowl of boogers. So I don't know if you can see it, but I think I've already shown you. So I'm gonna put that back in the fridge. So yeah, chia pudding, that's a really awesome snack. You can either put it with water or milk, scoop of protein powder, and then depending on how frisky I'm feeling, I'll put peanut butter or berries or whatever. So that's snack number one. Um, something else I'm crazy obsessed with is nuts. So I love nuts. Um, I love every type of nut. I usually like have some sort of nuts or peanut butter or something like that through, like every single day. Um, so if I'm not just like spooning down tablespoons of peanut butter, like I have it on top of lots of things or like at night or whatever, um, like with just like berries or something, which is super yummy. But let me show you my current favorite nut. So, so besides the bulk nuts at Sprouts, I like to get the mixed nuts that are roasted unsalted. I get those all the time. I think I have some somewhere, but these are ones that you can just buy kind of like anywhere, maybe anywhere, but anyways. So these are so damn good. The Blue Diamond Almonds, the salt and vinegar. They also have like smoky barbecue and a bunch of weird other flavors, but I'm a crazy sucker for like salt and vinegar chips and duh, I can't have those cause chips one and then two like crazy carbs but these are so freaking good um if you're craving like vinegar and you're just watching your carbs um these have two carbs so super yummy and i found these at walmart when i was in havasu last weekend i know they have them all over the place but out here in um orange county i haven't been able to find them at any of my targets this flavor in, in particular has been sold out everywhere so i'm happy i got that um, these are also super delicious. I used to get the almonds that were Thai lime chili, um, but I saw cashews and I thought I'd give those a whirl. So these are only four carbs per serving and they are so limey and a little bit spicy, not too crazy, but these are dangerous. If you don't be careful, you can like throw down 500 calories at once. So these are so, so good. And then these i've been on a kick for such a long time i'll have just like a serving or two of just roasted salted or unsalted just nuts that you crack um at night like if i have calories to kill and i just am feeling super snacky i'll just splurge and have roasted nuts nuts are so good but they're so high in calorie um so i'm currently tracking my calories tr uh, trying to stay under like 1700 a day depending on how active i am so that's a very like dangerous snack for me to have in my presence because it's so high in calorie anywho moving on another salty snack that's really good and super low in carb are these guys here so these are from sprouts it's just the roasted seaweed uh these are zero carbs and what 15 calories yes super yummy and these also come in like lime flavor too these are really really good uh, and then, so like another like chip alternative are these guys here, these Brad's veggie chips. I may or may have, may or may not have talked about these before, but these are really good if you're looking for like a chip alternative. Um, they're just made out of broccoli. 
and like flax seeds. But I love these. Um, they're a little bit carby. There's nine carbs, but there's two grams of fiber. So that kind of, what is that minus down to like seven net carbs. So net carbs is kind of like, I believe it's what your body just absorbs, not the actual carbs. So if you minus the fiber from the carbs, that's really how much the carbs are. So nine grams of carbs in here, two grams of fiber. So per serving, it's seven grams of carbs. But these are really good. I love these. I have one open. Let me show you what they look like. So the texture is kind of funky. Um, if you've had like chip alternative chips before, like you'll be fine with these. Um, but like someone that's just like fresh off the boat from like Doritos and Lay's and like I'm telling you this is a chip, you're probably going to think this is gross. But this is what it looks like. Super delicious, really thick and crunchy, but like it does, it does the trick. Whoa. Um, for your chip craving. So I love those, but they're just so expensive. I, I probably get like three servings out of this tiny ass bag and this is like eight bucks. So that's dumb. I know, but you know what? You got to do what you got to do if you're craving chips. Okay. Um, another funky little snack, which may seem crazy, but I just love it. It's just, you got to think out of the box when you're trying to snack on low carb. So here goes nothing. So bologna, vegan bologna. I know I try not to eat like processed foods that often, but I probably have a snack maybe once a week. So it is um, one carb for three slices of bologna and only 60 calories. So what I do is take this or these are really good too, the tofurkey, the um, faux uh, like turkey. And I take any type of like cream cheese, like vegan cream cheese. This is my current favorite right now. The Miyoko's Unlocks Your Dreams. It's like a um, lock style vegan cream cheese. It's just very tangy and delicious. So I'll spread some cream cheese on the fake meat and like maybe put like a little dollop of just regular yellow mustard. And it takes me back to like having those um, like meat and cheese platters that I used to eat when I was not vegan. Um, so it really, really craves, really cures that craving for like a meat and cheese type of situation. And that snack is super low carb and really high in protein, but it is processed crap. So I try not to like eat it that often. Um, going on to a healthier note here, you can still have hummus if you're low carb. You just got to check the back. So these are my favorite options for low carb uh, hummuses. These are both from Sprouts. Um, either of the flavors that the Sprouts brand makes of hummus has barely any carbs. So for two tablespoons, which is one serving, it's only 50 calories, three grams of fat, and three carbs. That's really nothing. So um, I get down on these. Love these so much. And it has a bunch of protein too. Um, no, not a bunch. Just, just one which is good, but it's better than nothing. But anyways, in comparison to like Sabra hummus, which I had last weekend, it was double the calories and like a few more carbs and just like a whole bunch of other like shitty ingredients. So this is a great option. Um, I used to dip crackers or chips in this before I was like watching carbs, but now I'm dipping these guys, mini bell peppers, which I love. Um, or just some tomatoes I'll dip in there. I also love little Persian cucumbers or broccoli is really good in that. So that's a great option. Um, moving right along, just berries, just snack on berries. So lately, but I say lately, like it's a crazy like thing that I'm doing every day, but like the past three nights I've been craving like cereal and I can't have cereal cause carbs. So I've been having like one serving of granola, which I'll show you in a second. Um, grain free granola with some berries and some pea milk, which let me just show you. And I'll just put all that in a bowl like cereal. So it's kind of like a fruit cereal bowl, like a berry cereal bowl with a, just a little bit of granola, um, with some milk. And it just really, um, gets rid of that cereal craving and it's like something sweet at night without being like 
chocolate um, and it's just great so if you haven't had this milk by the way I suggest you try it I was on the soy kick for a while but I wanted to just, uh, just switch it up a little bit so I decided to get this one it's um, 80 calories for one serving it is two carbs and eight grams of protein. That's a lot of protein for a plant milk. And it is soy, nut-free, lactose, gluten, and 100 million percent vegan. So love this stuff. Um, let me just show you the, the only two granola bars, not granola bars, the only two protein bars that I've found that are um, like carb friendly are these guys here and they are damn good. So this is from Raw Rev Glow. It is just so good. This is only five net carbs and the ingredients are literally just like salt, peanuts, and chocolate. So good. And then this guy here from Nugo, this is also only five carbs. This comes in two different flavors. This is the mint one and they have like a peanut butter one, but these are both great options for like protein bars or like meal replacement or just like snack bars. I usually have one of these before my cycle class if I'm like hungry after after lunch. Those are awesome. Okay, moving on to the grain-free granola. So obviously you can't have an ass ton of granola right now because it's made out of oats typically. So I found at Sprouts, I love Sprouts, they have three different options for grain-free granola brands. And I have this on top of my smoothie bowls and then in that like little cereal bowl I was talking about or you can just pop it in your mouth whenever. Okay, so I've been loving these two probably this one the most um and then i recently i think bought this twice in a row because it was like a dollar cheaper and i think like one gram less of fat whatever but these are both damn good so these are made out of like seeds and nuts instead of oats um like this one here is a seed mix so it's sunflower seeds pumpkin seeds maple syrup cacao nibs and like sea salts and coconut and that's it love this one it's lark ellen so good and then this one is basically the same exact thing but it's so good but when i went there today i found another brand so i haven't tried it out yet i'm gonna try it so these per serving per fourth of a cup is 150 calories um and six grams of protein and it has uh, what is that? Six carbs per serving. So not bad if you're craving um, granola. And then lastly, I just wanted to show you like some of the drinks that I've been having when I'm feeling like I want something more than water. Um, of course, Celsius is my go-to. I love these because they give you energy. There's caffeine in them. They're pretty much all natural, I think. I don't know. Excuse me. But it says healthy energy accelerates metabolism and burns body fat. Burns body fat, that's a bunch of BS. I think it's all mental. But these are my favorite flavors, the orange, guava, and the watermelon. Also zero carbs, vegan. I 15 calories, 10 to 15 calories. Um, and zero carbs, which is great. And then also I found these, which I've been repurchasing, the Zevia um, peach. I like the peach flavor, the lemon, and the raspberry. So those are super good. Um, and that's pretty much it for snacks. That's kind of what I'm like going off of right now. What I've been craving lately, pretty much all I can have on this planet is like seeds, berries, and vegetables for snacks. So, so yeah, I've been enjoying that lately. Um, let me know if you guys have any favorite like snack combos that are plant-based, lower carb, or just anything in general. I'm always open to trying new ideas and I'm always on the hunt for new and exciting things. So let me know what you think and if you like it and if you try it. Okay, 